Hello, I'm going to talk about differentials. Differentials are used for integrals and studying infinitely small elements, like in hydrodynamics. Um, so let's take the example of work. The differential element of work for a force F is F scalar, uh, the du, where du is the uh, infinitely small displacement. So if you call C a path, a path, uh, by definition the work of the force with that path is the integral of this element through a path. Um, and uh, so it's that element. Um, at first we can notice that we introduced another variab variable that is the, the C. Um, if um, and the, that, vari that variable actually um, is referring directly to the du, but uh, we don't know if that um, it, if that uh, function f is uniform in that path. So you can't write that it's equal to um, f times the length, well, scalar, the length um, of the the path because you don't know actually wait but um, if you can't write this because you don't know if f is uniform on the path for example um, if your force doesn't work at some places then uh, you don't know if it's continuous or not um, so you can't write that um, Yes, so um, the work depends on the path. So to talk about differentials, we say that a differential is total. If you can write it, the, if you can write the element as a sum of all of its variables with i being all the variables of the force of the force uh, depending of the path C, obviously, uh, of the force F. Oh, um, I'm going to copy that here. Okay, so um, if the derivative of uh, the force on the path C uh, of the force F um, by its variable I um, multiplied by the differential element I, uh, is equal, uh, when you sum them, equals to that, then it's total. Is it total? No, because you can't write it as a sum of all its functions. Because um, sometimes, if uh, the force is uh, normal or um, parallel to uh, the displacement, it will not work. So it will. it's not a continuous function. Uh, like this function is not continuous on the whole path. So you can't write this, so the differential is not total. Um, is the differential exact? So, uh, I'm sorry for my accent, I don't know exactly how to pronounce that, but I pronounce it exact in French. Um, so exact means that you can integrate this element um, independently of the path. Unfortunately, it depends on the path, as I said earlier. So yeah, there is a C element here. You can't like say no, it's no, it matters. This matters. So no, so it's it's a differential. This this delta means differential, but not um, not a DTE. So uh, convention, uh, oops, convention. Um, if it's a DTE. Well, I didn't say it, but uh, I call DTE for differen differen differential total exact, which means that a differential is both total and exact. If DTE, um, the, the differential of F is noted uh, DF, if non-DTE, um, the differential 
differential of f is noted um, delta f or uh, there is another notation that I like to use it's uh, I don't know if that exists in no um, it's a d uh, with a bar uh, can I show that oh great I can show it it's um, a d like this with a bar like this and the f obviously so it's an old notation uh, okay so I'm not going to do that uh, okay in most in most uh, physics and chemical problems uh, that are not studied as a quantic scale nor calculus based on work as we get, as we've seen earlier work uh, depends on the path so it's they are not TGE uh, the differential elements are differential total exact, uh, so DTE. Uh, so uh, this is true because of the continuity. Uh, usually, when you study physics systems, it's continuous. Where you are not going to have a function of mass that will increase the to uh, infinity or uh, minus infinity or things like that so in in most things it's a DTE the theorem of Schwartz Schwartz not Schwartz Schwartz uh, guarantees that if a function of two variables is DTE then uh, well it's not uh, if with a second F so if and only if a function with two variables is DTE then their cross product, uh, cross derivate are equal. So if you derivate the function um, of um, uh, by y uh, by uh, by x, then by y, it's the same as derivating by y then by x. So you can um, you can try at home um, if you have a function of two variables, you can try der derivating by one variable than, than the other and mostly you're going to find that it's a DDE uh, because Schwartz uh, okay I think that's it um, this is just a mainly an introduction so it doesn't say much just explaining what DTE is so thanks for watching I hope you enjoy it and uh, bye